Hey, what's happening everyone? So, Brian Silva, if you don't know me yet, I'm the owner of How To Be A PJ. Um, check out the website, check out the Instagram, and obviously you're on YouTube, so check out the other videos that are on my channel. So, today I want to talk to you guys about something uh, just kind of came up to my mind. I get this question all the time in the emails and on Instagram and stuff like that, and I just think I just feel very strongly about this and I want to just put it out there so it's not one person or two people or whatever it's over a dozen people that are messaging me, messaging me all the time um, and they're asking me for motivation they're asking me what do I do when I've hit that wall and I don't want to continue anymore or I don't want to work out anymore or people that are using my program and they stop using the program um, the main question that I have for those people that have stopped and don't have any motivation right now <clears throat> is who the hell do you think you are? Are you just a person that starts out on some path and says they're going to do something and doesn't finish and follow through with it? Or are you a person that is going to suck it up and do whatever it takes because this is what you want to do? You can stay in your mediocre job, you can stay in whatever and be unfulfilled look back on your life when you're 75 years old and have nothing to show for it but uh, employee of the month certificate or whatever but I guarantee you, you're not gonna be happy with that you define whatever it is within you that made you start out this journey in the first place and that got you going bottom line is you need to stop feeling sorry for yourself and actually do something with your life no one's gonna feel sorry for you when you go to Indoc, I tell that to students all the time. No one feels sorry for you. I don't care how long you've had your feet jacked up on the wall, how long you've been in the push-up position, or the flutter kick position, or whatever. No one feels sorry for you. You know why? Because you did this. This is your choice. All this is your choice. You have the opportunity to seize the moment. And you are, I tell them all the time, like, you're in a air-conditioned freaking room right now in a classroom or you're in a pool which is temperature controlled has pH levels that we have to be within limits you're not getting shot at there are people that are downrange right now as I'm making this video who are getting shot at or their buddy's legs just got blown off and you know if that's not enough motivation for you to go out there and work out every day then just stop working out and continue the job that you're in right now because I don't want you out there with me. It literally says in the creed before personal desires and comforts. You need to you need to reassess the whole reason why you started out on this journey in the first place. Like why did you even start doing this if you're going to stop not even halfway. It's not it's barely even a tenth of the way. You need to reassess your values and the whole reason why you're here in the first place and start actually visualizing these goals, visualizing yourself being a PJ, being on that hoist ready to pick somebody up. Because people could say that they're going to pay me like $100,000 or pay me whatever and it still wouldn't amount to the same feeling like when you go pick up a patient and you get to see them interact with their family again, hug their kids, hug their wife and sleep in their own bed safe only because of all of that training that you did to get here you have two and a half years or so of training and you get to impact somebody's life for the rest of your life so why do you think that it's not worth it there's no reason why you should possibly believe that going out there and training every single day to be ready for that one moment is not worth it. Even if you only get one mission your entire time as a PJ, it is a hundred percent worth it to have somebody come home and see their family again. There's no good reason to feel sorry for yourself. And if you visualize what it must feel like, like I, don't, I have no idea what it actually feels like to lose uh, a dad, a brother, a son, a daughter, or anyone else like that close in combat when we say goodbye on that big old plane and 
that family never gets to see them again. But I'm pretty sure that the loss that those people feel is much greater than the pain that you might feel in your abs when you're doing flutter kicks or in your chest when you're doing push-ups. So stop being selfish and think about all these other people in the world that have it way worse than you do. You have it amazing right now. You live in America, the greatest country in the world. I'm sure you live in some kind of air-conditioned building or sleep on a Tempur-Pedic bed at night and get to train in a pH controlled, temperature controlled and probably indoor pool <laughs> and then after you're done training you get to go to Jack in the Box or you get to go to whatever freaking Papa John's and grab a pizza while you watch Netflix on your couch what I'm getting at here is you have a lot more than most people in the world so when you're feeling sorry for yourself or you're just feeling lazy that's not an excuse to not go train that's not an excuse for you to give up on what you set out to do because trust me if you keep on doing that kind of stuff and you're like oh I think I'll pick up piano and then you learn like you go through two classes and then you end up just quitting on it because you're like eh whatever I'm not really gonna do it if you're gonna freaking do something then go do it and burn the freaking boats like do something and know that you're gonna be the best at it whenever you do something don't feel sorry for yourself and think that it's going to take too much time or think that you just maybe don't have the time because you're doing something else. There are plenty of people that are doing the programs right now and are about two hours a day and they're doing their job, which is a full full time schedule, along with college and who knows whatever else, stuff on the side, jujitsu and swimming lessons or whatever. You are not going to get another opportunity to be exactly the position you are right now so seize the moment burn the boats and get out there and stop feeling sorry for yourself if you guys want to keep on watching these videos you like these videos go ahead and subscribe um, like the video and if you have any other questions or comments on working out on getting motivated or you want to share what motivates you Go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. I'll check it out and I'll answer whatever questions you guys have. I appreciate you guys' time and I'll see you guys next week.